You should have sales appointments every day of the week. If you want to make less sales and change less lives and make less money and not grow and scale your gym, then limit the number of times that you have the opportunity to sell people. But the easiest way to grow and scale is to offer opportunities to have people join your facility every single freaking day. That's it. Here's what over 10 million text messages has taught us about lead nurture and increasing show rates that you can take and use right now to increase your sales. My name is Kale Lowen, I'm the CEO at Gym Launch, and I'm walking you through right now what we call the four pillars of lead nurture. And this is what we found after having a partner company in our portfolio called Allen, which was an automated lead nurture system that booked hundreds of thousands of appointments and sent well over 10 million different text messages and we have the data behind everything. And so I'm going to share this with you and walk you through the four pillars of lead nurture and how this works. In my opinion, lead nurture is the, what we call the blue collar business function out of the five. There's lead generation, then there's lead nurture, sales, fulfillment, and then the last one is retention slash ascension. Lead nurture is the one that gets overlooked the most, but it's one of the most important, if not the most important out of all of them, because getting leads is really cool, but getting leads just means you spent money or you worked your ass off to get the leads. They mean nothing if they don't show so that you have an opportunity to actually sell them. So each step in the process needs to be looked at and lead nurture is absolutely one of them. So let's look at the four pillars of lead nurture and how you can utilize this right now to increase your show rate so that you can close more people and change more lives. Here's how it works. So let's look at number one. The first lesson and the first pillar of lead nurture is speed. We have to reach out to clients or prospects as soon as possible. We want to be able to contact them within five minutes of opting in. It's optimal if you can do it less than 90 seconds, but if you can do it within under five minutes of them opting in, fantastic. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit this right now. And that is if you were like, well, what about at night or anything like that? If they opt in on their phone and you're running ads or you get a website lead, hit them up immediately and you should be calling them. So literally like pick up the phone, dial, and it's like, Hey, Kale. Yeah. You just opted into our free six week challenge. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. This is Joe at XYZ fitness. Super excited. Yeah. Can't wait to get you booked. Can't wait to get you to come into the facility, whatever it is, right? You want to make sure that you're calling them right away. And if they don't answer double dial, if they don't answer, don't leave a voicemail, text them and do a reply and get the conversation started. The longer you wait, the less money you're going to make. So the longer time you wait between an opt-in and first reach out, you're going to lose money. The second piece. So there's three pieces to the speed part. B is speed and proximity of, of basically the appointment. The goal is, is that they book today or tomorrow. So you're looking for a 48 hour window, 72 at worst, because the likelihood of them showing as the appointment gets further and further away from the opt-in means that they're basically not going to show. And so your goal is to get them in within 24 to 48 hours. So if you're calling them or they're booking and maybe they haven't set an actual appointment, you want to try to get them in that day. And if they're like, well, no, I don't know when I need to get in. I don't know if I can make it. The easiest way to overcome that is simply just ask, cool, what time do you typically work out? Great, come on in during that time. We'll go ahead and meet. And if you want to, you can get a class if that's how you work, right? So you can get them in. The third point in this is speed to reply. If you get a 10 o'clock message at 10 p.m. from someone, reply right away. Saturdays, Sundays, there's no days off with lead nurture. Just like there's no days off with building a relationship. The relationship starts right away. And so what we have found over time is that you need to be able to reach out to people as quickly as possible. And they need to know that you're human. If you're using an automated message system, that's okay. Like we built one and we sold it from our portfolio, but there's a piece of this that's really interesting. And that is there still has to be some sort of relationship because people can read through the auto text. So there has to be a piece that is you. The second piece. So we talked about speed, right? Speed, 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 speed kills. The second piece is volume. This is probably the most underrated piece of all of this. And the one that everyone overlooks because they're like, I don't want to bother people. Screw that. People need to be reminded consistently. Okay. So volume, this is what it should look like is per day on day one within under five minutes of opt-in. That's the first message. 60 minutes later, that's the second one. Two hours later, that's the third one. You should be reaching out three times a day on day one. You should be doing the same thing on day two. Basically day one through day five is three times a day. So three times a day, day one through day five. It's one time in the AM, one time in the afternoon, and one time in the evening until either they show or you get them booked. And then it starts again to get them to show. Once you get past day five, you're going day six through 10 is twice a day. So morning, afternoon, or mid morning, evening days, 11 through 20, one time a day, day 21 through 30th, uh, just end of day, get it in, reach out to those people and just keep working your leads. So volume, 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 and you can switch it up. You can send them gifs, you can send them memes. You can do a whole bunch of different stuff. Have fun with it. The point of it is just 
just to have fun and show through kind of your character and who you guys are at your facility. So the third piece is personalization. What we mean by this is there's one way to do it and that is multi-channel. What we mean is you can send text messages, you can call them, you can email them, you can Facebook message them, you can Instagram DM them. There's multiple channels. So personalizing the way that you reach out to them will really help. So if you have someone that opts in and you can find them on Facebook via their name or maybe email address, then that means what you can do is you can find them and then DM them as well. Not only just text and email, but you can also DM them and maybe add them to your free Facebook group, all that stuff. The next piece is when you're reaching out to them and you're starting a conversation is finding out what's their goal. Is it weight loss or muscle gain? Are you looking to tone up? Are you looking to gain a bunch of muscle? So finding out what they want during your process of lead nurture. And then the next piece is actual personalization. So really digging deep into trying out different ways that you can reach out to people. And you could say hi to some people. Some other people might be hello or hey, or what's up? We're just saying first name question mark. And just pro tip, first name question mark if they haven't reached out and it's the first time. It's a really good way to start a conversation. If it's been a while and you want to rekindle something, just say their first name with a question mark and a text. That's it. They're going to reply. And then the other piece is when you're on the phone is building tonality and rapport. You should sound upbeat. You should sound stoked. So the easiest way to do that is before you hop on the phone is smile. And that's going to come through in your tonality. You can tell like I'm smiling right now. I'm super happy. That needs to come through when you're talking to prospects. And then the last piece is availability. So the fourth pillar is availability and you should have sales appointments every day of the week. If you want to make less sales and change less lives and make less money and not grow and scale your gym, then limit the number of times that you have the opportunity to sell people. But the easiest way to grow and scale is to offer opportunities to have people join your facility every single freaking day. That's it. The sales appointment hours and blocks that we found are best are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the morning, and then 3 to 7 p.m. in the afternoon. And then you should always be booking your time slots. So the ability to book is every 30 minutes. It doesn't mean that they can book 30 minutes at any point. It's just you give them more opportunities and more options in your availability on your calendar to book. So it's not every hour. An example of this is if I clicked on your calendar of opportunities to book an appointment and it was 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, we actually want to see 9, 9.30, 10, 10, 30, 11. And if if you have hour long appointments, it just blocks off the next one. But really you should have 30 minute appointments when you're meeting with people and you should have this opportunity. If you do this, if you actually implement all four steps, you'll be shocked at how many more people will show up and how many more sales you're gonna make and even better, how many more lives you're gonna change. So if you like this information, there's an entire document. It's called the seven money models, how we scale gyms over $100,000 a month, like clockwork that you can grab for free. That's full of stuff like this and more detailed information, fully written out descriptions of how to implement this and even more more goodies in this. And it's completely for free. In the description down below, there's a link. Go ahead, grab that. All you need to do is just trade your email address for it and we'll send it right over. And as always, please, if you like this information, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment. I love hearing from people so we can understand. If you have questions, we can make more videos and help y'all ultimately make more money and change more lives. I'll catch you on the next video.